Bringing in guests to your live show or producing a show for clients is awesome. But if you've ever done either of the two, there are some unique challenges it presents. Here are a few. Is that guy's camera out of focus? Oh man. Coming back from commercial in five, four, th can, can you not hear me? Oh man, they're mu you're muted, you're muted, you're muted, you're muted. Okay, looks like my client's guest has shown up. Let me send them a quick message in the private chat. I really, really hope that they see this. Great job, great job. Uh, don't be alarmed, but there's somebody standing behind you. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at EV Mux, the guest slash producer experience and what makes it different. So in a different video, we talked about the whole inviting a guest or speaker to your studio here in EV Mux. And if you haven't checked that out, we'll put a card right here for you to be able to go and watch that particular part of that video. Uh, so you're all caught up here. We're looking at the guest experience. That's right. This is a guest in the studio. And so what you have on screen right now is uh, a view of the host, right? So I've, this is the, the background shot of myself. This is the host screen. And I'll show that to you in a second because there are some producer type things that we wanna show off in terms of the guest experience. So this is the host here. And of course you're seeing, this is a low resolution. Let's zoom in on that. This is a low resolution preview that we're seeing here. This is my camera. I am here as the guest. And so this is what I look like to me, right? So I don't get a low resolution preview of myself. I only get a low resolution preview of anybody else that's in the studio. So we have this all here and that is pretty good. Next, we wanna show you that you can actually see the broadcast here or participants. So right now we see that the participants list is here and that's pretty good. Um, it shows that the second machine uh, microphone is active and is speaking, uh, but you also see that it says here backstage, backstage. And if I click on live, you'll notice that it says live is not available yet because I haven't clicked record um, in this studio. So we have these options here and just for the sake of showing it to you, I'm actually gonna go over to my studio and click the record button so that we can actually take a look at what this looks like live. So now we can actually see that it is no longer backstage. We are actually live here. You're seeing the live preview here. You're seeing the on stage icon. So you as the guest know when you're on stage or off stage, you have the ability to click here to switch sessions. So if I had added this guest or speaker to multiple sessions under my account, they would be able to simply come right here and select those additional sessions to be able to switch to, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, you do have the ability to come and type to one another. So here we have group chat. So I can actually go into group chat and type something in the group chat there. But I can also go back and just talk, talk to the, the one person or individual people in the studio as well. So we can actually send individual messages. So group messages and individual messages, which is pretty cool. And right here, you're seeing that the uh, chat slash social icon is illuminated, letting us know that there are comment, there are some comments or, or some chat there. This social tab is for social comments. So if you're streaming to Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, those comments would come into here, providing that, you know, the API works. I don't know how many of those are actually working. I know Facebook and YouTube are, are sending comments into the studio. I'm not certain about some of the others but you would get those comments in this section here and you'll be able to see them as the guest. You can't really do much in terms of control, but you can see them as the guest. The guest also has the ability to, to switch to dark mode. I prefer dark mode. Um, the guest also can put this into full screen that allows them to have you know zero distractions. Um, you have the ability to leave the studio by simply hovering over your name. And once you hover over the name, you'll see leave there. 
uh, you can click to remove the chat section so that you have a little bit more screen real estate for the things that are on screen and you can click to bring that back in. You can actually share a video as a guest. You can share your screen as a guest. You can um, also go in and change your camera and microphone settings. You also have the ability to do noise suppression, stereo out, high resolution audio and echo cancellation all there for the guests. So this is all for you as a guest on the platform EVMUX, right? So your producer does have some abilities and we're gonna show those to you in just a second. There's one in particular that we wanna show, but we wanted to show off, of course, disabling camera, turning back on camera, to stopping the microphone and turning the microphone back on. So those are some of the things that you have access to here in the studio as a guest in EV Mux. So now let's quickly take a look at, at what the producer sees at the same time. So now we're looking at the producer screen and the producer screen, uh, we still, we have that transition button here. We can actually switch to another scene. We can actually transition that back over just to give you, you know, the producer is the producer, right? So the producer is here. The guest is on screen. Producer is in the bottom of the screen here for everybody to see. And if we switch back to our other screen here, you'll see that the this preview has changed to the screen that is now in program over on the producer screen. So we can see that and, and we can see how that changes, how those changes that the producer is making affect what the guests are seeing on the other screen. So if we go back here now, we come back to the producer screen and on the producer screen, one of the things that we can look at really quickly is just by clicking to open the chat and you can see that that hey is there. We can click in here and say, uh, good to see you, right? So we can type that in there. That is a direct message to this particular guest that's in the system. But if we click on the chat icon here for the producer as well, you can come to the group chat and see the other uh, the other message from that guest in the group chat as well. So that's good and it's always cool to see that in place. Then uh, what we can do now is of course go back to our uh, guest screen. And so here's the guest screen and we can see here that good to see you is now showing up on the guest screen. All right, flipping back again, <laughs> we're going back and forth here, but this is the producer screen. And again, on the producer screen, what we're seeing uh, is the chat, but this icon here at the very bottom where it says push to talk, my absolute favorite guest slash producer experience option, feature, function, whatever you want to call it, is this option right here. I had to highlight this. I left it for last. It's called push to talk. And it's just that. So I click this button and as I'm talking, that message is only being sent to the guest in the system. So I'm gonna keep holding here and click back for you to be able to see that what that looks like on the guest screen. You can see that on the guest screen there, moderator Kirk Nugent is speaking to you. So that audio is only gonna be heard by that guest at that time. And then of course we can go back to the screen here and see that that is still there. Push to talk, hey, uh, you got something in your teeth, right? Push, push to talk, hey, somebody's standing behind you. The audience cannot hear that only person that can hear that is the person you are speak speaking to and that is awesome and that is the remote producer slash guest experience in ev mux so to answer the question of what makes it different producer and guests can talk to one another off screen with no interruption to the broadcast social comments group chat and direct chat options for tiered communication and private private messages guests can choose if they want to see live or participants option to switch sessions aka studios lastly the push to talk one-way audio from producer to any guest live or backstage for that production setup feel all of this in a browser and let me say i believe ev mux is truly just getting started for more about ev mux or other live video platforms tips tricks best practices learn about those in these videos later fam